Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this animation with simulation nodes. So let's get started. You will need Blender 3.6 Alpha for this to work. You can find a link to that in the description. Hit Shift A and add a plane and in the geometry nodes tab click on new. Delete the group input and add a UV sphere or shift click on it. Add a distribute points on faces node. Set the density to 2500. Now hit Shift A and add the simulation output node. It's important to add this first because otherwise Blender will crash. Now add the simulation input node and put that here. Add a set position node. Let's also add an instance on points node. For the instance, I'm going to use an icosphere. Set the radius to 0 0.01. You can leave the subdivisions at 1, but I'm going to set them to 2. Add a set material node. In the material properties, click on new and select the material here. Add a position node. Now we're going to use a bunch of vector math nodes. Let's set this one to sign. Plug the vector into the offset of the set position node. Now take this normal and plug it into the vector. Let's save now and open the timeline here. If we play the animation, we've got something like this. I'm going to set the frame rate to 60 and the end frame to 215. I will let the animation play while adding the nodes because otherwise we won't see the changes that we make. If you don't want to play the animation, you can just go to frame 2 after you've added a node and go back to frame 1. Add a map range node and let's set it to vector. Reconnect this. Add a mix node and set it to vector again. Plug the result into the two maximum. Duplicate the vector math node and set it to add. Plug the vector into the from maximum here and into B. By the way, set the vector here to 0.3. Duplicate the mix node and plug the result into the vector here. Let's also plug this into A. We also need to plug the result in here. Now duplicate the vector math node that we set to sign and plug the vector into A. Take the normal output here and plug it into the vector. Duplicate this node and set it to cross product. Set the vector here to 0.25. Duplicate the node and set it to tangent. Now duplicate it again and set it to cosine. We also need one that is set to normalize. Take this one, duplicate it and put it here. And let's duplicate it again and set it to snap. Duplicate this one and set it to absolute. Take the position output and plug it into the vector and take this vector and plug it into the increment. Duplicate the one that is set to tangent and put that here. Plug the vector into the vector. Now we need one that is set to wrap. Take the absolute vector and plug it into the vector here. Now take the tangent vector and plug it into the minimum and take the position and plug it into the maximum. Take the vector and plug it into B here. Duplicate the wrap and set it to project. Take the normal and plug it into the vector. Now set it to reflect. Set the vector to 7.3. Duplicate it and set it to minimum. You can leave this at 7.3. Duplicate the one that is set to tangent and put that here. Now set it to reflect. Take the vector of the snap here and plug it into this vector. Earlier I forgot to take this vector here and plug it into the factor. As you can see now we've got something like this. Let's save again. Now press N and go to arrange and click on arrange nodes. Add a transform node and let's put that here. Set the rotation on the x-axis to 44.7. On the y set it to minus 35.4 and on the z let's set it to minus 29.8. Select the plane, press delete on the numpad and 7, and let's hit shift A and add a camera. Control or 0 to go into camera view and press G and set it twice and move it back. And I'm going to position it here. These are the coordinates for the camera. I decided to set the set axis here to 93.2. Let's save again and go to shading. In the world properties, set the color to black. I'm going to use EV for this. Make sure ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are enabled. Go to rendered view. Now let's open a new timeline here. Go back to frame one. Delete the principal PSDF and add an emission node. Control shift click on the emission node. Set the strength to 20. I'm going to make this orange. Now keyframe the color. Go to frame 20. Now let's make this blue and keyframe it again. Select the first keyframe and duplicate it and put it to frame 40. Press Ctrl Tab to go to the graph editor. Now press A and press F3. Type in make cyclic and select make cyclic F modifier. Now as you can see it will repeat the animation. In the output properties select an output folder. Set the file format 
to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Before rendering this, go back to geometry nodes and go to frame 1. Now let's play the entire animation so that we don't get any trouble when rendering the animation. Now let's pause it and save and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.